In the occupied West Bank, a gunman has opened fire on two buses carrying Israeli settlers. Three people were wounded. Children were reported to be amongst the bus passengers near Jericho in the Jordan Valley. Israeli forces have blocked roads and say a manhunt for the attacker is underway. Let's cross over to Laura Khan, who's in Ramallah for us. Just bring us up to speed on what we know about this developing story and this attack on these buses. Well, as you said, this is a developing story and very much an active scene in the town of Al Auja, which is in the Jordan Valley. I'll walk you back to around 7 a.m. local time this morning. There were reports that a shooter had opened fire actually on five vehicles, including a bus. And the Israeli ambulance turned up and they said one man is moderately wounded. He's in a Jerusalem hospital. And there were two more lightly wounded, including a 13-year-old boy. The Israeli army says a manhunt is under way they are combing the area we know from local eyewitnesses that there was a gunman who was dressed in military fatigues and also wearing some sort of face mask uh, he is he's now escaped he is at large so as I said they are combing the area but uh, Palestinians say that uh, well according to Palestinian figures Last month, there were at least 40 shootings against Israelis and the month before, around 70. Some of these happen on routes uh, like uh, Route 90 and also Route 60. And these connect illegal Israeli settlements throughout the occupied West Bank. And it's come amid really heightened tensions. Yeah, indeed. It, it has come uh, uh, in the midst of all of this uh, tension, as you say, Laura, uh, in the West Bank uh, and with more sort of focus as well in the past few days on the increase in Israeli drones that seem to be order of the day. Oh, well, absolutely. Um, you know, we were reporting on what had happened in Janine only yesterday. And um, through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, there was another Israeli drone attack in the Janine refugee camp that killed uh, three Palestinians. And the week before, another drone strike had killed uh, three Palestinians, including two fighters. Now, this is uh, amongst daily raids taking place across the occupied West Bank in town cities, refugee camps. We've spoken to many people across uh, the region and they say this is really striking fear into the hearts of the cities and they people feel very isolated from one another now the Israelis did say that they wanted to they're aiming to root out Palestinian fighters in Janine camp but it is the civilians there they say uh, that you know they're carrying out these daily funerals more and more young people are dying and uh, you know many people including children are terrified as these nightly raids take place here's my report Smashed glass and shrapnel blasted walls, evidence of another violent night in Janine. On Tuesday before midnight, the Israeli military entered the city, raiding homes, confiscating goods and destroying a monument. On the outskirts of the refugee camp, they shot a 19-year-old man before entering the camp with an armoured bulldozer, upturning roads and destroying infrastructure. Journalists on the ground say the Israeli army retreated among violent confrontations with fighters before sending in an armed drone, the blast killing three more men. People here say they live in fear. Some refuse to leave. Others say they've been forced to flee. Safety? We're not safe anywhere. The occupation has destroyed our lives. But we will stay here and the occupation will leave one day. There are always airstrikes and no safety at all. Any day there's an airstrike, there is a funeral. The camp is not safe anymore. People are running away. For two years, the camp has been the epicenter of violent incursions by the Israeli military and confrontations with Palestinian fighters. <laughs> Just one week ago, a drone strike killed two fighters and another man when it targeted their car. At least 40 Palestinians have been killed in air and drone strikes in Janine alone since October the 7th. And just under a quarter of all Palestinians killed in the occupied West Bank were also killed here. They are killing the fighters by drone because they can't fight them on the ground. Every week, we bid farewell to a group of young men from the camp. It is difficult to leave our homes and everyone is afraid. As they bury their loved ones, Palestinians are chanting that any chance of peace is also dead.
There's been a major increase in Israeli military raids in the occupied West Bank since October the 7th. That's on average around 42 raids every single day. Israel justifies this by saying they're rooting out fighters and preventing violence. Palestinians say this doesn't work as they're already violent attacks that worsen an already volatile situation. Laura Khan, Al Jazeera, Ramallah in the occupied West Bank.